Welcome to Florida, a state known for its stunning beaches, unique wetlands, and diverse wildlife. But what happens when foreign species arrive and disrupt the balance of this fragile environment? Today, we're going to explore invasive species that are causing serious problems in Florida, from plants to animals and even insects. These invaders are not just a nuisance. They're wreaking havoc on ecosystems, local wildlife, and even our daily lives. Let's dive in and take a closer look at each of these invaders and how they're changing Florida's landscape. The Brazilian pepper tree was introduced to Florida as an ornamental plant in the 1800s, but it's become one of the most aggressive invaders in the state. This tree forms dense thickets in wetlands and coastal areas, crowding out native plants. Its rapid spread is aided by birds that eat its berries and disperse seeds. The tree's sap can cause skin irritation in humans, and its invasion alters entire ecosystems by replacing native species that wildlife depend on for food and shelter. Managing its spread is challenging, making it a serious ecological problem in Florida. The Australian pine was brought to Florida in the late 19th century to control erosion, but it's now destabilizing coastal ecosystems. Growing rapidly, these trees form dense canopies that block sunlight, displacing native plants like sea oats, which are essential for stabilizing dunes. Additionally, their shallow root systems make them prone to falling during hurricanes, worsening beach erosion. Their rapid spread along coastlines has become a significant threat to Florida's natural habitats. Efforts to control Australian pine populations are ongoing, but these trees continue to pose serious challenges to native species and coastal conservation. The Old World Climbing Fern is an invasive vine that smothers Florida's native plants, particularly in wetlands like the Everglades. Originally introduced as an ornamental plant, this vine grows rapidly over trees and shrubs forming thick mats that block sunlight. Worse, it increases wildfire risk by carrying flames into treetops, which can devastate entire forests. Controlling its spread is difficult due to its ability to regrow from even small fragments. The climbing ferns invasion is a major threat to Florida's biodiversity, disrupting native plant communities and making fire management more challenging. The water hyacinth is a floating plant that looks beautiful, but is incredibly destructive to Florida's waterways. Originally introduced as an ornamental species from South America, it has spread rapidly covering the surfaces of lakes and rivers in thick mats. These mats block sunlight, which decreases oxygen levels in the water, harming fish and aquatic life. Water hyacinths also clog waterways, making it difficult for boats and impacting irrigation. Despite ongoing efforts to control it through mechanical removal and herbicides, water hyacinth remains a persistent problem, threatening both aquatic ecosystems and Florida's economy. The Melaleuca tree was introduced to Florida in the early 20th century to help drain wetlands, but it's become a serious invasive species. This tree grows rapidly, forming dense forests that outcompete native plants. It also changes the water flow in wetland ecosystems and fuels wildfires due to the oil in its leaves. Melaleuca is especially problematic in places like the Everglades, where it displaces critical native species. Control efforts have included introducing biological agents like the Melaleuca weevil, but the tree's spread continues to challenge conservation efforts across Florida's wetland environments. The Burmese python is one of the most well-known invasive species in Florida, especially in the Everglades. Likely released into the wild by pet owners, these giant snakes have established a breeding population and are causing significant damage to native wildlife. Burmese pythons prey on mammals, birds, and even alligators, severely reducing populations of native species. Their presence has upset the natural balance of the ecosystem, and they're difficult to control due to their size and elusive nature. The python's rapid spread is one of the most alarming examples of invasive species in Florida. The green iguana was introduced to Florida through the pet trade and has since become a common invasive species, particularly in South Florida. These large herbivorous lizards damage native plants in landscaped areas, burrowing into levees and seawalls, which can cause significant structural damage. Green iguanas reproduce rapidly, and their numbers have exploded, making them a serious threat to both urban infrastructure and natural ecosystems. While they might look like harmless reptiles, their impact on the environment and human-built structures has made them one of Florida's most problematic invasive species. These invaders are changing the landscape, damaging ecosystems, and causing economic loss across the state. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment below on which species you found the most surprising. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.